I, I want to turn my attention now to this fella, this character, Mr. Ray Epps. We've all heard of him. We've heard of Mr. Ray Epps. He was number 16 on your FBI most wanted list. He was encouraging people the night prior and the day of to go into the Capitol. And Mr. Ray Epps can be seen at the first breach of Capitol grounds at approximately 12.50 p.m. Play the clip, please. Capitol. Into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. We are going to the Capitol. Where our Trump was born. It's that direction. Please spread the word. All right. No, Dave, but one more. Yeah, so can we go up there? No? When we go in. Are we going to get arrested if we go up there? Yeah. You don't need to get shot. Arrest us. There he is, breaching the line, going in at the first breach into the Capitol, into the Capitol grounds, a restricted area. Mr. Ray, you have arrested hundreds of people related to January 6th. And there have been people arrested for breaching Capitol grounds. Cooey Griffin is an example. Rachel Genko is an example. And then we go to Mr. Brandon Strecka. Brandon was arrested for disorderly and disruptive conduct, which included yelling, I quote, go, 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 as rioters tried to empty the Capitol. These three never went into the Capitol. They never assaulted anyone. So let's be honest with each other. There is very little difference between the actions of Ray Epps and Brandon Stricka that day, but yet Stricka was arrested and Epps wasn't. Epps also testified to the January 6th committee. He was back at his hotel when video evidence showed that he wasn't. He lied. He was on the Capitol grounds just as Brandon Stricka was. Epps even texted his nephew at 2.12 p.m. and said, I quote, I was in the front with a few others. It was on the video. I also orchestrated it. Now look into the camera, sir, when you answer my next question. Are you going to arrest Mr. Epps, yes or no? I'm not going to engage here in a discussion about individual people who are okay, or are not going to be prosecuted. Can I get a commitment? You just watch the video. I'm an old law dog. I understand a little bit about probable cause. He did very little. There was very little difference. What he did and Mr. Strecker, you can see him. He's encouraging. I almost think he's inciting a riot. He's encouraging people the night prior to go into the Capitol the day of go into the Capitol. And he was at the first breach and he breached the restricted area. Everybody, a lot of people getting arrested for not going into the Capitol, but they're in the restricted area. But yeah, Ray Epps, who many people feel fed, 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 right? And there's a lot of cloud over this. So I, I, my point is this. You arrested a lot of folks for unlawful activity. You just saw the video. And I will tell I you, Mr. Ray, Mr. Uh, if you don't yeah. arrest Mr. Epps, the there's a reason behind it. I believe you know what it order. is. And it appears to me you are protecting this guy. I strongly recommend you get your house back in order. With that, I yield back.